Hey everybody, welcome to the back office training. We're going to be going over um, how to change your auto ship. We're gonna talk about how to enroll a new team member. Also, we're going to talk a little bit about the importance of staying on auto ship, just a few little things that you might need to know. And then after that, we're going to go in and look a little bit at how to um, really maximize your account with Isogenics. So maybe how to get referrals, a different thing, and a few different things like that. The first 20 minutes of our conversation is going to be for those of you that are solely focused on product. And then once we finish that, I'll dismiss those of you guys that are focused on just product results and um, maybe telling a couple of friends. And then those of you that are a little bit more into the business that would like to maybe build, we're going to spend a few more minutes and talk about how to do that. So I'm going to share my screen with you for just a second. We're going to go into um, the Isogenics back office. And I'm going to click right here. I think it's um, being a little slow. So to go into the back office, you're simply going to go into isogenics.com. Once that comes up, it's you're going to click associate login, and then you'll be asked to um, for your username and your password. Your username is most likely your first and last name, all lowercase, no spaces, and your password is probably success. It looks like my computer is automatically pulling up Megan's tree, so I guess we'll use that. Um, so Megan, which this is a great example um, to look at, Megan just signed up, um, I think, not even maybe a week ago and maybe a week ago today actually I think and so she's just getting started in her business today is day three of her using the products and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down and we're gonna I'm gonna show you how you would actually manage your auto ship so in managing your auto ship you will go to the orders tab which is right here you're going to go down and click on manage auto ship and then you see where it brings up the auto ship order that whoever enrolled you probably set up for you. If you want to bank volume, which is very important, we're gonna go into that just a little bit more, but if you are wanting to bank volume, it's really important that you are at 100 business volume. And that allows you to bank on what everyone is bringing in below you. Most of you or all of you really that are on our team are in an amazing place where you're probably seeing people come down under you that you don't even know. And as long as you're at 100 business volume, you're actually able to bank on that volume coming under you and you'll be able to turn that into money. And we're going to look at that in just a second. Now. Let's talk about the products. If you have products that you are that are in your auto ship that you're wanting to change, all you would really need to do is click edit my auto ship. Once you do that, it's going to it's going to actually come up. You're going to see this in just a second and it's going to highlight the calendar and give you the option to go in and shop. So here you see where this is highlighted so you can change the date by clicking on the calendar, changing the date of it. And if you want to change items that are in it, you can just click on the quantities, change that. Um, if you want to add other stuff, you can go into continue shopping, and that will actually take you into the catalog, and you can order other items. One thing that you'll want to do is you want to change your auto ship date to come out every 29 days instead of every 30 days. And I'll show you this a little bit more detail in just a second. But you'll notice here with on Megan's order, she has 166 business volume in her auto ship. Um, what would happen is if she orders on the 30th day, she'll be able to make commission on 66 business volume. So it's anything over 100 business volume that you make commission on. Whereas if she orders it on the 29th day, she'll actually make commission on all 166 volume. So you probably really want to switch that around a little bit and so that you can make commission on all the volume. Once you have changed your auto ship, you can go in and click confirm auto ship. Now, 
And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at your tree. We're gonna do that, first of all, by going into team, and then we're gonna go into enroll new member. Once we go into enroll new member, it's going to pull up where you would actually enroll someone. So here's Megan's tree. I love looking at this because I think this is so, um, I guess, um, representative of what a lot of you are seeing happening right now. So Megan signed up and then she signed up her husband. They both started on product. That was about a week ago. And um, since she signed up, you can see that there have been um, five members added below her, actually six people added below her. One was her husband, and she's had an additional five people now that are on her team that she does not know. That's exciting. So let's go up here and look at what that means because not only is that happening to Megan, but it's most likely happening to you, and if it's not happened yet, it probably will. And so if you look here, you can see where Megan has 1,014 points banked on her left sales team. And I know that whoever brought you in has probably shared a little bit about how you can make commission on what comes under you, but the deal is all of those people, those those six people or five people that are under Megan that have ordered, she's banked volume on all of them and she can now turn that into cash. But she's only banked volume because she has stayed active and on auto ship, active meaning that she's ordered 100 business volume and on auto ship with an auto ship set up. If she does not have an auto ship set up, she's not going to bank volume on what's below her. Now, um, when, when you go to enroll someone, you're always going to enroll them wide right, wide left. So you're gonna put them on your wide right and wide left. So the spots that you are looking for to enroll someone are going to say sponsor new associate in the spot. So here's Megan's spot. She's going to click on that. That is her right spot that would be open. Here you see unoccupied. You do not want to enroll anyone where it says unoccupied. Your spots are going to say sponsor new associate in the spot. So to find that, you're going to click bottom left and thinking, there we go, it came up and it opened a new spot. So Megan's person's gonna go down here below Gail. Remember, Megan doesn't know Gail. Her person's gonna go under Gail, because that's the magic of the binary. So Gail, who doesn't know this person, is going to earn volume on her. It's why we're one team. It's just an exciting thing that um, Isogenics has to offer. So that's a little bit moving around the back office. You guys can definitely come in here, play around. You'll see lots of different resources, that type of thing. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over and we are going to look at our team training site. This one is called Team Destiny Online. Um, so it's teamdestinyonline.com. Now, this is where you're gonna see the trainings, the forms, and the flyers. So the first thing you're gonna see is a little welcome letter. It's just a checklist, basically. Um, it just kind of suggests that you do several things. The first thing is to schedule your back office training. That's actually what this is right now, so you can check that off. Um, the next thing, you want to watch the Shake Day and the Cleanse Day video. Um, you can click on those. It's going to bring up those videos. There's how to do a Shake Day, how to do a Cleanse Day. I want to just um, mention this right now. Some of you that are doing Shake Days may have came in on a custom 30-day pack. And so you might see in the Shake Day video or on the Shake Day and Cleanse Day forms that come in your kit, you might see where the forms or the videos coaching you to use a few products that you may not have, such as Natural Accelerator, Isoflush, Snacks. You have them, but they're in a little support bundle and you only have enough supply for a Cleanse Day. If you chose to do a custom pack, over a regular 30 day. Many of you may have chose to do a custom pack because you are because you may have had extra inflammation or and maybe you're an athlete and so we needed to add some more energy drinks and amp bomb into that and we were trying to get you the most bang for your buck and so that may have happened. If that is the case, um, don't fret. The person that enrolled you is going to coach you through some different things that you can do like having apple slices in place of that as you're getting started on your package. So you'll wanna watch the shake day and the cleanse day video. The next thing that you wanna do is you wanna enroll in the Isobody Challenge. That's a 16 week challenge. Um, it 
basically you're going to do a before and after picture. Um, those pictures need to be date stamped or you can have a newspaper. You're going to go through 16 weeks, weeks using the product, staying faithful. At the end of the 16 weeks, you're going to do a before and after picture. And once you have that done, then um, you actually complete the challenge and the company will give you over $200 in free products. Then moving on down, um, you'll watch the video, how to get your products paid for. And also, um, if you are not in the Facebook groups, Fat Slayers and Isa Rocks, you want to be. Isa Rocks is the business page. It's gonna tell you when our calls are. You're gonna have different ideas of how to get free products, how to make money, that type of thing. Fat Slayers, if you are a product user and you're on a mission, it is a must because there are so many exercise tips, there's so many um, diet tips, nutrition tips, recipes, shake recipes. You can even go on and just ask questions. We have a community of chiropractors, doctors, um, trainers that will be willing to answer questions. You type them up there and somebody will almost Johnny on the spot give you a reply. So you wanna really engage in that community. Um, also, um, we do have a clinical nutritionist on staff with Isogenics. These are the times and days she's available with the phone number if you ever have questions that you want to ask her about. Then moving over, we're going to go to the Getting Started page. Um, once again, we're going to focus, first of all, on those of you that are wanting to focus on product results and really maybe don't have a desire to build the business. And that, that is most people that are in Isogenics. And so we're going to focus on you first and then dismiss you to go. And then the last few minutes, we're going to come back and talk to those of you wanting to build. Now, I do want to tell you, if you are wanting to build, you need to do everything that we're coaching the product users to do. And then you're going to do some extra things that we're going to talk about at the very end of the call. So this is both relevant to business builders and product users. You're all going to do the very beginning part of this exactly the same way. And so here are the videos. This is Cleansing Shake Day. I told you about how to get your product paid for video that I shared with you. And we're going to skip over this for those of you guys that are product users. We're going to go down and we're going to start right here with Post Your Progress Online. Now, um, there is a time in my business where someone would come in and they would say, I'm a product user. And so I would feel a little bit like I didn't want to um, really even go to this part with them. However, what I found over time is this. We all talk and we all get product results. I am so impressed with our team of coaches and trainers of the product results that we see happening every single day. And what happens is someone's going to ask you about it. And you're gonna have the opportunity to tell them what you're using. And it's so important that you're saying the right things because this is the deal. We're not talking about how to make money. That's in the next section. We're talking about how to, if someone says to you, what does the product do? how to give an intelligent answer so that they enroll with you and they don't enroll with someone else. Because I saw this happen over and over and over again early on in my business with people that were having excellent product results, but they did not know how to give an intelligent answer um, to what they were using. And that person would end up enrolling with someone else. And so there was somebody else making money for the seeds that their friend had planted. And I know that you don't want that. I always tell everyone, it's like giving away Kohl's cash. I mean, it's like saying, no, thank you, I don't want my free product. And so first and foremost, um, one thing that um, we're gonna talk about posting your progress online, but also I'm going to relate this continuously back to if someone sees you in the office at church out and about and asks you what to do. So first of all, um, I want to just talk to you a little bit about pro posting your progress online. And I'm not talking about, um, I know that there's other companies where they'll say, do this in a day and your chin's going to shrink and you're going to be skinny and your arms are going to be buff and I sell this. I'm not talking about that at all. I, I'm just so, that's not my style. Um, for me, I feel like my life is centered around three things. And one is my family. One is my faith, and the other is nutrition. And so when I'm posting on Facebook, I'm typically posting about one of those things. That might not be what your life's centered around. It might be 
faith, family, and maybe you're a teacher, maybe you're a firefighter, maybe you're a crafter. I have no idea what it is, but typically you're kind of probably posting about a theme in your life all the time. So what you do, what you want to do is you want to continue that. You want to continue your life as it is and every now and then pepper in a little bit about your wellness journey. And it's really a natural thing. Like it would be like if you suddenly decided you were going to start bowling. I mean, your page wouldn't become a bowling page. But however, you probably would say, if you went bowling four times a week, you probably might mention once a week, my school, my score at bowling was 175 tonight or something like that. And so you are probably going to talk about it. And I think what happens with isogenics, because we get rebates, suddenly we're like, oh, I don't want to sell. But that's crazy because this is the deal. People are going to watch you and they're going to buy it from, they're going to, somebody's going to refer them and somebody's going to make money on your results. And it might be you. You might as well be the one getting your stuff free. And so what I would do is um, I would just document your journey just like anything else. Just think about bowling. You know, I'm going to bowl four times, you know, once, um, four times a month. So I'm going to post about it four times a month. So if you're using isogenics and once a week you're cleansing, maybe post about it. Or if every now and then you think you make an amazing shake, take a picture of it. Post about it. I never use the word isogenics on my page. I don't say I sell isogenics by isogenics. I never use the word. I don't hashtag isogenics. Like if you go on my page, you will probably have a really hard time even figuring out what supplement it is that I take. And that's on purpose because I want people coming to me and asking me what I do versus assuming what I do and going to Amazon and purchasing it or maybe getting false information and saying no before I've even had the opportunity to give them facts. So on your page, here's a couple of things. These are just a couple of ideas of curiosity posts to gently maybe let people know what you're doing. So maybe you're waiting for your step to arrive and you may say something like, cannot wait for my step to arrive. So excited to begin my new health journey. Hello, skinny jeans. Now you might say something like, ready to make health, some health changes this year. Can't wait to get started. Hurry up, UPS. Um, after your first cleanse days, typically, or after any cleanse days, typically when you're going to see some crazy results. And you might say, can't believe how great I'm feeling. I'm already down blank pounds. Amazing. Completely sold on nutritional cleansing. At that point, people are going to say to you, what is it? And I want to go back then to the office as well. So let's, let's kind of tie that in. If, Maybe you're out and about and you're at a family function or the office or at church and someone says, what are you doing? You look really good. Um, your answer, both on Facebook and face-to-face, -face, is going to be the same. On Facebook, um, you're going to, on your page, you're going to say, I'll message you on the page. So on the wall, I'll message you. And then you're going to private message. It's called nutritional cleansing. I absolutely love it. If I sent you a video, would you take a look at it? So when you're in the office and someone asks you, you're going to say, it's nutritional cleansing. I love it. If I send you a video from my Facebook, would you take a look at it? That is all you're going to say. And that sounds so easy. And you're probably like, oh, that's way too easy. I can do that. But you are going to be so surprised, even if you're the shyest person on earth, like all of a sudden you're going to have this overwhelming desire to talk way too much. To say something like, oh my gosh, it's from New Zealand cows and they're really small and it's $272, but that's cheaper than 68 Happy Meals. I mean, you're going to want to say all this stuff. And the more you talk, the less likely it is that they're going to sign up because they start getting all this half-fact information and half-facts will take you nowhere. My, my mom used to say, if you're going to do it half ASS, don't do it at all. And it's a little bit like facts. If you're going to give half-facts, you'd be better off saying nothing and so just say it's nutritional cleansing i would love to send you a video about it would you take a look then when you send the video from your facebook i just send all my videos from facebook it's easy for me to track um i can go back to it it keeps all my communication in one place i like it and that's where i send all mine personally some people will send emails um to me i do it all through facebook and so i will send them um either if they need to lose weight they're tired um, maybe they've been sick, they're going to get the video, Are You Toxic? Almost everybody's going to get the video, Are You Toxic? These videos are found on isomovie.com. If they're an athlete, they get Team Isogenics. Those are the first two videos that I send out to, any, to everybody, no matter what. That's what they get. 
And once they watch the video, a lot of times they're going to come back and they're going to say, I'll watch the video and I'm wondering how much does it cost? That's going to be a lot of what you're going to hear. Or they may say, um, I watched the video. What is the difference between this and Beachbody or this and Advocare? Blah, blah, blah. They're going to say a lot of different things. Now, your goal or what you're trying to do is you are really trying to get them to get on the phone with your executive or the person that enrolled you. Um, just say to them, I just started doing this. I really don't even know how to answer questions. All I know is I love the product. Can I get you on the phone with my friend Amy? She's super easygoing. She can help us to answer your questions. I feel like, can I get you on the phone with my friend Amy? She's super easygoing. I feel like that's the best way to get them on the line because what they're thinking is they're thinking that I'm the big closer that's going to come in and close them. So what really is going to happen is just conversation. And so you want to really try to get them on a three-way call. Once they say that they'll listen to a call, then you're going to, you know, you're just going to set that up. So you may ask the person that is doing the call with you, whether that's your enrolling sponsor or your executive, you may say to them, um, when are a couple times you could do calls? And then you're going to offer that person. You're going to give them, you know, two time options, such as how about Thursday at six or Friday at seven and try to get them set up for a three-way phone call. Now, I have to be honest with you. And I have to tell you that this has, I have a lot of years in network marketing, and I feel like if there's one thing that makes people uncomfortable, it is that when they're asking their friend, what are you doing? And then your friend is going and bringing in this executive or this closer to, to give the conversation, it becomes a little bit, um, I guess, um, people are skeptical or they don't want to talk to the closer. They want to talk to you. You're their friend. You're the one with the results. And so sometimes you have to really encourage them that this person, that whoever they're talking to is easygoing. Now, I will tell you one of the things that I would do if your goal, if you know you're losing weight and you know that, you know, this is going to happen or you're getting buff and you, I mean, and most of you are. I mean, if that's, you're going to get results, what I would do is I would do five three-way phone calls. And the reason why I would do that is I would get the practice in so that you're able to close people, Johnny, on the spot. So if you go to work and somebody goes, what are you using? You can say to them, do you have 10 quick minutes sometime this afternoon? Because I want to sit down and tell you about it. But the only way you're going to get to that point is to get trained on how to do it. And I feel like this is what separates the boys from the men in every network marketing company is whether or not you really learn how to give those facts. And so if you can get your, if you can do this with your executive or with me, um, get someone to do five product training calls with you while you take notes, while you listen. What's going to happen is whether it's on Facebook or in the office and someone says, what happened? You look great. You're going to say, do you have five or 10 minutes? I want to really share this with you. And you're going to be able to call them Johnny on the spot, or you're going to be able to go meet with them Johnny on the spot and give them the information that they need without having to get a third person in, which is what sometimes causes a little bit of the awkwardness. Um, and not at the, not toward the end, like sometimes you'll get someone interested and then you'll bring in an expert or bring in your executive. And at that point, your friend wants to talk to them, but if you can make it so that initial conversation is with you, that is the best thing possible, but there's no way you're born doing it. There's no way I, I came into isogenics with 13 years experience and I still had to go through these training calls so that I could learn how to do it. So the training calls, you guys, will take about five, about probably 15 minutes a piece. And so what you do is you find five friends, five people. It doesn't matter. The goal is not to recruit them. We do not care if they recruit great. If they don't great, the goal is to train you on how to do a product presentation. So you're going to say to them, you know, Kelly, I have a favor. I just, you know, call or text or Kelly, can I call you? And then you're going to say, Kelly, I have a favor. I just started using some products. I'm getting results. Would you be willing to do a training call with me on the products? It takes about 15 minutes so that I can learn how to get the information. That's what that's going to look like. And then you're going to set that up with your executive. What I do is I put them in a group text. 
So let's say that Val's going to schedule a call with me with Michelle. She's going to say, hey, Amy, this is my friend Michelle. She will do a training call when you have available. And then I set that up and we go from there. Um, so that's what that looks like. I will tell you this is one of the very, very best things that you can do. So if you're a product user, just to recap really quick, um, you want to watch the Shake Day and Cleanse Day videos. Once your product comes in, get with the person, get with your associate. What they're going to do is they're going to go over all the product with you. They're going to ask you to text them for 14 days so that we can make sure you're coming out of those gates, getting amazing product results like, like we want you to. And then after that, um, you want to make sure then to post a curiosity post. Uh, make sure you're in Bat Slayers. Make sure that you're in Isa Rocks and then do your five training calls, and that's really where you're at. That's really where to start as a product user. So if that is your interest and kind of where you're at in your mindset and anything beyond that, maybe even that was a little much, um, you can go ahead and go, and I definitely appreciate your time. Now, for those of you that are wanting to go forward and really look a little bit more at the business. Let's go up here and we're gonna go up here to your crystal executive plan. Now, let me kind of go here also as well. I really recommend that you watch the in-depth compensation plan. Um, I love this one. There's also another one on YouTube. It's the Lynn Hagedorn. Lynn Hagedorn, get paid and get your people paid. She's in a red jacket. That's also a great compensation plan to watch. Just so you can really gather um, how to um, make income in isogenics. And I think it's good to watch a couple of different people do it because sometimes you'll learn from someone or it'll just sink in when you hear it a few different ways. And so I definitely watched this one and the Lynn Hagedorn one. It's going to be a lot of help for you. And then let's talk about the Crystal Executive Plan. So this is the Crystal Executive Chart. And I will tell you that this chart is really um, – how I built my entire business. It's what I focused on. It um, is the tracks that I used to run on to, I was able to earn 91,000 in my first five months and um, I, I did it by completing this chart. And so the first thing you wanna do is you really wanna think about um, a couple of things. Here um, is a memory jogger. I'm not gonna click on it, but you can click on it. Um, it's going to help you think about who do you know. Who do you know that might want to look better? Who do you know that might want to feel better? It's just going to jog your memory and help you come up with a list of people. So you want to get a list of people that might want to look better, feel better, different things like that. And then with the Crystal Executive Plan, when I filled this out, you guys, I was very intentional about the type of people that I put on it. Um, I think that your team is just as strong as the people that you put on it. And I believe in the saying that your vibe attracts your tribe. And so I literally thought about who do I know? What kinds of people do I want to add on my team? Who do I know that's ambitious? Who do I know that likes other people? Who do I know that's not critical? And so I just thought about what do I want my team to look like? And from that list, then I began to fill this out and really be intentional about it. And so I made a list. And I filled out this chart, and I want to I want to really state this question that I asked myself, um, and I want you to really think about how I said it. I didn't say, and to this day, even when I'm building my next wave of growth, I don't say who do I know that would do isogenics. I think it to myself, who do I know that if they did isogenics is so well connected that they could not help but to tell a ton of people about it? Or who do I know that if they did isogenics would be great at it? Because there's two different questions of who do I know that would do it and who do, who do I know that if they did it would be great at it? Because when you ask if they did it, what happens is you're no longer prejudging. Otherwise, you start to judge for people whether or not they'll do it before they ever do it. And that's something that I haven't done that in 17 years. And when I see people do, when I see people prejudging, um, I, I always am, am fast to get them to stop, stop doing that because it's one of the grave errors you can make. And so go through and think about it and fill out this list. So for example, um, one of the first people I put right here was Joe. Um, Joe is a marathon runner. He's a great guy. I knew that if he did it, he was well-connected. A lot of people respect him. And I thought about who does he know? He knows Gwen and he knows Robin. So I wrote Joe, 
I wrote Gwen. I wrote, I wrote Robin. Now, I never talked to them. I wrote them down before I talked to them. I wrote down Serene. I knew if Serene came in, she would enroll Harold, and she would enroll Brittany. So I was thinking about not only who, not only who would be great if they did it, or who is well-connected if they did it, but I also thought about who did they know. And so I went straight through and filled out this entire list of 10 people just like that. The next thing that I did, and I want to explain to you, and um, also really how I posture myself before I even explain to you what I, what I said, but I knew that this was going to work for me. Like, I knew it. I knew that I knew that I knew that it was going to work. So when I went and I actually talked to them, I, I had every confidence in the world that what I was saying to them was legitimate. I knew that if they came onto my team, it was going to be the best decision that they could ever make. And this is why I knew that I wasn't going to stop. And there, that's a big difference. I knew that I was going to make it happen. I knew that I wasn't a quitter. And so when you know that about yourself, what you're doing is you're not asking anyone a favor. I was asking no one a favor. I was telling them what I had to offer, and it was amazing. It's a little bit like the statement, I read this quote on Pinterest almost every day because it, um, I just love it. And it says, I know what I bring to the table, and I'm not afraid to eat alone. And I think there's so much power in that, in that self-belief. And so it's like your belief is, I know what I'm building. I know what I'm doing. I want you on my team. You, I, I believe you would be amazing but yet your emotions not attached to their answer because it's awesome. And if they don't come on your team, like they're the one making the mistake. They're the one that's crazy. I think that now, like when I offer someone what I have and they don't take it and they're entrepreneurial minded at all, I'm always thinking, what did they like not understand? Like I, I think they're the one that's making the mistake. And so that was really my attitude coming into this. And so what I did was I called Serene and I just said to Serene, Serene, I really want to sit down and show you what I'm doing. I'm going to build six figures this year. This business is awesome. The products are awesome. I'm looking for 10 people to put on my ground floor. Would you be willing to just sit down and look at this with me? And I mean, would you be willing to just sit down and look at this with me? And my posturing was so strong that they all said yes. I don't think that they were saying yes to the opportunity. I think they were saying yes to my vision. And what I want you to know at this point, a lot of times people will say things to me like, well, yeah, Amy, if I was a four star and I had earned six figures for the last few years, people would want to jump on my team too. But this is a deal. At this point, I wasn't selling this momentum. It, it wasn't even there. I had a dream. I had a vision. And I was bringing those people on board. And that was becoming, it, so in a sense, it was almost more like I was selling my vision. And now at this point, with the momentum we have coming down the legs, I mean, so many of you guys are seeing it already in fruition. And so you're just asking them to listen. Now, the one thing I want to really let you know is that they did bristle. And most people, like when I talked to Serene, she said, Amy, I just don't have time to do something else. Is this network marketing? I said, yes, yes, it is. It is. I just want to show it to you. I'm not asking you to do it. If you look at it and you don't want to do it, I will not bother you again about it. All I'm asking is, would you just give me the benefit of the doubt and take a listen? And sometimes people will say, Amy, well, I think that's pushy. But this is the deal. It's not pushy. Most people that are not waking up in the morning thinking, wow, that business opportunity I'm looking for is going to come in a brown box and say isogenics on it. Most people aren't thinking that. And so they don't even know what they're saying no to. I said no for a long time, for several months. And then the girl that recruited me, Hillary, I say the girl, but the million dollar producer um, that recruited me, Hillary Courtney, she, um, her husband called my husband and he talked my husband into talking me into listening. I went to the appointment with my arms folded and, and dragging my feet grouchy but I signed up Johnny on the spot because I had no idea what I've been saying no to. And I'm so passionate about that, that I will talk anyone into listening. Now I will not talk anyone into joining my team. 
Like I'll give it to them. And if they want to ride my train, that's great. And if they don't, then I'm going to stop and let them off because I don't, I'm not going to play hit the ball, drag anybody. The minute that I'm feeling drug, I'm, I'm going to let them go and, and move on because I don't want my paycheck or my vision attached to somebody I'm having to drag in. However, to get someone to listen, yes. I definitely talk them into it. And so know that, know that. Um, here's the template that I use. I don't believe in scripts. I believe that God kind of gives you exactly what to say. But just to kind of um, give you an idea of what I would say to people, it's right here. This talks about if they resist, which they probably will, that, you know, you're just going to talk them into listening. Um once they say that will, they will listen, that conversation needs to happen with your executive. It does. Everyone. It needs to happen with your executive or with me. And so your goal is to get them to a face-to-face -face appointment or a Zoom appointment with your executive when you're, when you're approaching them from the business side. Um, also, you can have them watch one of these videos. You'll want to watch all these videos yourself. Enterprising Women, Start Your Life. Retire Wealthy, The Isogenics Difference. You're going to watch all of those videos. And then you're going to pick the video that relates most to the person. And so let's go back here. So you're going to offer them two choices. So let's say Sally says, yes, I'll listen. You're going to say, great. I have Thursday at 6 open and Friday at 8. Do one of those work for you? And let's say she says Friday at 8. You say, great. I have you down. We're going to do a Zoom with my um, with." Um, my friend that's training me, and between now and then, if I send you a video, would you take a look at it? And then you're going to send her one of the video that relates the most to her. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the training page. On the training page, um, I'm going to move down here. These are boot camp calls, and I will tell you that I that these are a must, especially as you're training in our team. This goes along with our systems. There's 10 calls. There's a number that you dial right here. You just call into that number, add this code, and then the reference numbers, and you listen to those. You can listen them in your car, um, just out and about. These start talks are my favorite talks. I When I really made a decision to work my business, it was on December 27th, 2014. Um, I listened to one of these talks every single month and I could barely wait for them to come out all during last year. I mean, they literally changed my business. And so that's why those are on there. They're my very favorite. There's also Isogenics podcast that you can listen to and start your live podcast that will also really help you get going. There's different forms that you can take a look at also that, um, and links that we also use. So take a look at all of that and um, I could keep going and going, but hopefully that is enough to kind of give you a few tracks to run on and, and get you started. So I hope you guys have a great day. And once again, thank you so much for taking a listen.